Hello there, and welcome. My name is AK Games, and today we're going to be continuing with the castle treatment. We're going to the right side. I've already marked a little bit. I've got my uh, other version, the uh, map from the Grand Hall, so I can use it as a basis to the left of me, so I can use it for the basic treatment. Let's go ahead and, let's see here. Maybe draw the walls. Yeah, I guess I'd have to, wouldn't I? Go ahead and get the stone walls. Go to about right here. Maybe draw it out. There we go. Give it a good little box around. Ah, let's go all the way to the top, because this will be the furthest right side of the castle. We will need to edge this, most likely, but let's go ahead and get a bucket fill. Turn the rest of this into uh, marble. Yeah, already looking pretty nice. Now, let's see here. Probably be a room here. We'd be going with... Be keeping this thing unedited, as per usual. I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Don't have to worry about too much what's out here. Maybe add a little bit of foliage. You want to leave it open. Uh, if you don't, it doesn't really matter. I'll leave that as it is. I will go ahead and edge. Roll that around. Go here. What if I load? It's not going to do that, is it? Go here, go there, go there, yes, 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 going around. This one will be a little bit more simple. Until I make all those mistakes, this being the most time-consuming bit of it all. So, as I remember, we could probably wall off this entire section over here to the left, considering that is the other side of a wall, obviously from wall to wall. So, I'll go ahead and do that. It can be whatever. No, 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 no. Get in there. Do this. Go all the way up. There we go. Have maybe on this side, have some thicker walls. That may not be a bad idea. Have uh, all the way to the right, right there. For edge. Canceling that out. Let's uh, fluff that around a little bit. Get more protrusions. Nah. Ah. Go around the outside, you know, making it look nice and pretty. Last one. Alright. Go around on this side, even though it already looked very nice on its own. There we go. We'll probably not keep uniformity from left to right besides this main entrance way. I'll, I could literally just flip this map over and it would work just fine. Uh, let's see here. Potentially, uh, let's turn this corner into a spiral staircase, maybe pertaining stairs. Uh, spiral, circular, granite stairs, that'd work. Uh, pertaining to... Maybe a little bit on the smaller side. Going up to the uh, height of the area. This being about the center right there. Going up to the second floor. This being one of the main entryways to the second floor. Allowing for choke points to travel back and forth. Let's see. This side could probably be uh, a garrison can live here. So we could probably do some actually living quarters compared to the armory and the training area that we had. Easy access. The other side would probably be a mage's tower or a bunch of different things. Let's continue. Maybe have... Do a double room there. Go on up and around. Have it protruding like that. Maybe have a double entrance there, double entrance there. You get the large objects underneath the uh, armory from earlier. Bit of a, not entirely effective design, so to say. So, this could be a...
garrison location. We're going to need a natural pathway, aren't we? Let's see. Go in here. Go on up. Go on over. Go on over. There we go. That doesn't look too bad on its own, really. Adding a couple of corners and pieces here and there. Uh, maybe get rid of that. Let's go ahead and just get the base layout going. Uh, most likely will not be using a lot of northward space. Maybe if maybe a bit of it. Have it there. And leave a two there as well. This being the pertaining main hallway right here going down. That could be an entryway, of course. Maybe a little walkway area. Uh, would They would pertain. Try to keep things as neat as possible. Would be large entrances? Most likely not. That works. That works. Have one entry to the barracks with a uh, exit to the north, maybe pertaining to... I don't know. Uh, maybe there'll be an internal workshop up to the north, allowing for access. Let's do a shifting of the borders a little bit, trying to keep things stable. That'll do just fine. Keep with the stone look. So we've already got the basic layout. This is going to be a large barracks-like area. Uh, literally bunk beds. We're going to need beds. Uh, would there be double beds in here somewhere? Maybe we have the ladder, as we saw on the boat earlier. That'd be good. Just getting right into it. Ugly bunk. It's a bunk bed. It works. It works. Uh, probably consider. Yeah, that would that would work fairly well. Uh, I would say have it pretty scattered all over the place. Usually, it's, uh, if you have a decent garrison size, so this would be two people. Uh. Two. What type of other beds would there be? Not so much in here. I don't think the bunk beds would be in this one. No. Unless I'm just blind. Structures, miscellaneous, vegetation, space, archways, awnings, bags. Oh, we could probably use bags. We could probably use barrels as well. Uh, would they have a bar? They probably have in the corner. Maybe a... Uh, a nice little uh, a corner area where they just store some of their belongings, maybe. Uh, that works there, too. Put some stuff on the table. Uh, just just to have things lying around. Here are the beds. Bed rolls. Let's see here. Ugly beds. There. Nope, there's quite a few of these. Bed frames. Nope. Going for bed lodges, ugly normal beds, day beds, canopies, classy blue. You'd be near the bottom. That's where I saw the bunk beds from earlier. Maybe I'll just look for that ugly bunk bed then. Uh, here's ugly beds, bunk beds, no mat, bed frame. I could use this. I believe... I wish I had more double bunk beds. I will use this, though. Denoting that maybe they don't have exactly. There we go. Exactly everything they need. You could pretend that every bed is a bunk bed. That is also true. I believe... Bunk. Maybe I should just type in bunk. Nope, that's all I have. That's That's a little bit unfortunate. But I will make use with what I have. Mm, maybe a half. It's going to be pretty uniform because this is the only bunk beds I have. It'll work. So that is 16 beds on that end alone. Now, would they have a armory? Probably. 
Uh, make it a bit on the... No, that's too fancy. Armor. I'm your... Let's see. G. That would work. Have a few of these lined up occasionally. That works out fairly well. Evenly spaced ends up working out fairly well indeed. Uh, denoting every person has their own little armory, or maybe they're grouped in two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There being eight double beds, that ends up working good. Every person got to two, so this would be a garrison for 16. Now, what else would you put in a garrison? Now, that's a good question. A note. Boats, books and scrolls, not really bottles. Maybe a couple of containers, a bucket of water, so to say. Crates. Where is that? It's not bucket. I would like barrels. Barrels of water. Here we go. Um, that's a good point. This would be part this would have a bathing area. Would it not? A uh multi purpose general area where uh, they would probably have buckets of water and they wouldn't exactly bathe as so much as they'd wipe themselves down. So I can say using this area down here most likely would work. Maybe. Let's go ahead and place this down. Make it a little bit larger. And go ahead and have the edge paint for the stone wall. That works out fine with me having that one entryway. Having uh, it, it being a little bit of a smaller area. Uh, localized buckets of water. Buckets of water. And a bucket. Maybe have the other bucket type. That would work. Barrel. Barrel's lid. Random rotation. There we go. Maybe have a door of privacy. Privacy. Door. Let's see here. Standard wooden. Uh, wooden with hatch handle. Latch. Steel. Let's keep it with... Uh, let's keep a standard wooden. Door. There we go. Uh, only be able to lock in from the inside, maybe, perhaps? Rotate around. There we go. A bit of a bathing area. Uh, are there towels? There's no towels in here. Apparently in the fantasy age, there are no such thing as towels. Hmm. I can see having a bucket right there. No, 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 no. In case somebody gets thirsty, just uh, retain a bucket. You know, being the area. So you have the immediate sleeping for the garrison. Or they could rotate cots, having more people sleeping in the area. A couple of them don't actually have the bed mattresses, which is literally most likely a cloth, large bag stuffed with straw and other things. Wouldn't really be spring-loaded. Uh, it'd be fairly uncomfortable. Wooden frames could be easily built, especially because they're in their bunk beds. Twin beds. Boxes, containers, crates... That's a good question. A money basket? No. I think it'd be okay. No bridges, no burial coffins, no bushes. Cages? Most likely not. Would they do carpets? They wouldn't really be decorated as much. They wouldn't. They probably would have some chairs and stools. Ah. Uh, we could go up here to the top, though, for that one. Furniture. Uh, barrel top. Having a couple of chairs. That doesn't change much. Uh, let's have random rotational chairs in here, shall we? Uh, situated wherever they can be placed. So they can wipe themselves down and all that. Um, it's, it's a fairly open space. You can actually have a uh, fight in here as well. Fighting some garrison people as they walk in through not knowing exactly what this location is. Speaking of which, you probably have another door here. Lock it from the inside, not the outside. And 
Again, over here can be a larder, as we did in the boat map, being just a general storage place of goods and crates. Rotate that around. That looks good as that is. Having pre built stashes, crates big, eight crates, barrels. Uh, maybe not that large. Stack that there. Uh, barrels of green. Just have a random green barrel. A little bit larger than usual. Right there near the entrance. Uh, some random fish particles placed there. Maybe they'd look better like this. There we go. And maybe need to have a few more. I uh, have a large. Have a large one right here. That'd work fairly well. Maybe denoting that this is where they come to get their wine, refill their ale, doing anything like that. You'd be under lock and key. Uh, only the ma only the major servants, the head servants, would have access to this kind of storage room. Maybe uh, that would be an objective to uh, find one of those servants and uh, assist with such. I'm going to have a, a, a barrel collapsed right there. Getting a little bit of splash to the area. A uh, large stacking of barrels over here. Can I get a lock? Yes, I can. Continuing with the barrels and kegs, let's go for boxes. Boxes, containers. Anything pertainingly good would be great. Would not need to go fairly large. Could have a table in here placed as for storage have a good table in here as well it is being a relaxation area maybe pertaining to doing exercises uh, good 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 just just to have it around maybe they do resting drinking there uh, they could bring some more chairs. Uh, it is it is what it is. Everybody's got their own particular hobbies. That seems to be a uh, solid crate there. Maybe some older wooden ones. Maybe a chest. Old wooden crate chest. Maybe not. A couple of... Empty... Yeah, place that right there. Place it again. Empty... Could do a giant crack the stack if we wanted to. Probably not. To have this sitting here. Have that being the same size. Sitting there. Sitting the same size. Just a simple stack in the corner. Leaving things open. You can put a... Uh, you can say you're doing an investigation, and one of the you found out one of the servants apparently poisoned one of the uh, nobles, as I said it earlier. Have the uh, body of the servant placed in here. Maybe somebody replaced the servant, or the servant was dealt with after the fact. Place them inside the green barrel, and all you notice is their bones inside of it. This is being a barrel of acid. That'd look good for that. Now, if we're going to be doing a uh, garrison kind of entry, but we don't really want just anybody going in here. So we want some double doors. Uh, probably reinforced. That would look good. No, no, no. Wrong button. I don't want to color shift it. There we go. And double doors uh, being a slightly different sizes. Oh, that'd work. It's because of the vertical, I think that makes it just slightly different. Now, in here, we need probably active area. You would think you'd have uh, weapons uh, on the weapon. Yeah, this would be not so much as an area for. This would be an area where hmm, it couldn't be the armory. So, what could we do with it? 
we could turn it into the butcher's section. We could turn it into a bookshelf. We could have a bone saw, butcher's workshop. Uh, cast iron area, chimney with smoke, and a little altar. Hmm. It is interesting trying to get this area to work. Uh, having a bench would not be a bad thing to do. They would be able to sit around, get a little bit of relaxation. If they need, to, like, if they have to, you'd have a guard sitting at the bench or standing next to the back side of the door. You'd most likely have the guard sitting on the outside of the doors. If the doors were closed, if the doors were open, you'd let him see through it. If not, you know how it goes. Let's see here. Having one right here as well. Seems to look fairly good. Chairs, thrones, crafting... Crates. Oh, yeah, here's more crates. Don't really need those. Crates of apples. Crates of... Crates of chickens! There we go. Have a crate pertaining to... Of some supplies. That'd work there. Crystals. Cushions. No, none of that. No doors. Uh, constantly on guard. We've already got a little bit of a training area, but they could maybe, perhaps, have a little bit in here. Maybe two. No, not there. There and there. Uh, try to keep your skills sharp. Keep yourself warm and active. Maybe especially in the winter. Speaking of which, considering they would, they would have a fireplace. Would they not? They probably would have a fireplace in this area, being a fairly large fireplace, the entrance alone being larger than five, to keep the room warm. They would need, uh, they would require to have a warm area, especially in the winter months. So the fireplace would be active, or it'd be inactive, depending. So maybe I should place it being a inactive hoth. Instead, there we go. There we go. An inactive hoth instead. Maybe pertaining to having a few things. Uh, it'd be downstairs. It'd be an emergency thing. So say arrows, uh, arrow slits. You can use those arrow barrels. Uh, having these placed. Around the area. That would work. Habit. Just having a few barrels of arrows doesn't really hurt anybody. Have those placed around for the up and down uh, people just carrying entire arrows up and down in a matter of a siege. A little bit lacking currently. Flags, flares, food in the kitchen, maybe... Maybe have bowls, maybe have baskets, nah, no need. Fountains, no need for fountains, no need for cards. Maybe cards. Maybe uh, denoting that they've been, uh, they've been slacking a little bit. There'd be a, uh, a deck of cards placed. Uh, let's have it over here. Having, let's see, a game of dices. Uh, the tables will be empty for now. There will be a game of dice. That's be hard to see, but that's actually fine. There'd be tarot cards. A lot of tarot card variants. You play a game of Morris. You play just a normal game board. There'd be things in here to keep them entertained. Mahjong. Just a gambling table. Pool! Yes, they know about the pool. Tabla, I think we'd be good with that. Gardens, gates, gears, ghost grating, holes, houses, huts, mausoleums, ladders, letters. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Having a ladder, if you should require it. Having, uh... Having a couple of ladders placed inside of the storeroom. You never know when you're going to need a ladder, especially if somebody needs to grab something. Library. There wouldn't be any bookcases. Uh, no magical effects needed yet. Market pavilions. Shrooms. Music. Maybe. Occult piers now. Plants. Bookshelves. Cupboards. Cabinets. Cabinets. 
this is where you would have maybe someone has placed a couple of these around with the weapons. I do know that a few people have gotten a little bit lazy. Just placing it on either side of the hearth here. Yeah. Could easily use the hearth with a weapon. No need for cannons if they're ammo, however. Mm, no. Wouldn't be using any of that. Stages, I think we're doing pretty good. We're not that far in. And I think it's already looking quite well. Now we need to decorate. That's what it is. Now we need to decorate the main corridor. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, hold on. Looking for statues, are I not? Continue with the statue theme. Have one placed here. Have it placed there. Clipping around the corner. Having it placed there. And then a double placement up there. That would work fairly well. Not all of them could be magical, as was stated earlier. So there would be no immediate need. No real need for decoration inside the... Barracks, definitely not the shower, no need for complete heavy, like making it look great for people. Adding that randomness to things tends to pertain pretty well. Maybe add some chairs into this area, maybe not. I'll do that. I'll say that the chairs are probably packed up somewhere. Let's see, what else would you like? Statues are looking good. Maybe have a table. Just a, uh, a small table, so to say. Uh, with a couple of lights pertaining onto it. You know, uh, allowing for, especially at night, chandelier. Uh, how do I spell chandelier? Oi. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it'd be in basic furniture then. Go all the way to the top. There's normal candles. That's not really what I wanted. Uh, more furniture? Is there anything in that? Nope. Uh, structures. Maybe I just go to F for more furniture. Or L for lights. Fountains and wells. Light. Lighting. Lightning. That's not really what I wanted. Hmm. Miscellaneous? I mean, that would be all the other place. That's not miscellaneous. That was music. Light. Hmm. Where did I find that chandelier? Or candles. Candlestick. Here we go. This would work. Not exactly the same. Is it? That's the other one. What did I use? It doesn't have to be the same. Traditionally. Uh... Stick, candle wick, candlestick copper. Let's see, tables, tavern items, I believe this is where I'm at. Bells, nope. I tried. Temple, tents, torches, braziers, campfires, candle bra. There, it's candle bra. Oh my god, I'm just spending CH. <laughs> ah, there we go. Denoting some light in the area. Just a, a little bit. Now, would they have carts laying around? No traps, no trees, no need for weapons, cocoons, random pieces of wood. Death textures are in the wrong place. No cars, chairs. Maybe have... Let's see here. They wouldn't mind doing that, would they? Placing a couple of benches for the uh, work staff maybe to uh, rest along the way. Being of a different type of wood. Adding some variety. Then the traditional interiors. Great. Speaking of interiors. Mock it. Here's the other. Yes, put a pig pen inside. Planetary alignment. Rocks. Sci-fi, sci-sci, ships, stairs, urban. All right, so we've already exhausted that. Hmm. 
Wouldn't have anything large, wouldn't have any cabinets, wouldn't really have any tables. Uh, paintings, maybe? Uh, if I could get a nice angle, maybe not. Tapestry, tap, history. Here's some tapestry. Uh, gotta align it fairly well. Tapestry on the walls. I'm saying that there'd be some uh, decorations going away. Tap. Uh, tapestry right here. Be a large piece of tapestry for this one. Adding a little bit of variation. Let's see here. Up to the top right, considering it would be closer to the hall, would probably be the king's chambers, immediately having the garrison going to it. Uh, would you have the king, would you have the garrison likely connected? I wouldn't. To the king's chambers. I was going to have the king's chambers be in the bottom left. Not a bad idea. But I think we're good. Simplicity's sake. It doesn't look too complicated. Not too cramped. Have players fighting if you have to. You have plenty of area to do whatever environment or bonuses you want to. Feels a bit open here, but that can be good. For corners, coming right here, having ambushes or opening. Yeah, there we go. That works. Having a bit of a walkway right here. Maybe, maybe we pertain to keep that open. Allowing people to open the door and immediately walk in through. That would work. We're allowing for more ambush style opportunities. This would be a fairly large room, so it would be less of an ambush, more of a funnel. Hmm. I'll leave it open. That seems to be a better op that should be to be a better operational choice. Got some recreation, and I think we're good to go. Alright. Doesn't look too bad. Pretty simple. Just throwing things randomly on the board. You could have a party being guided to the king's chambers, which would be up into the north on the next map I create, most likely. Or maybe it'll be the wizard's tower, be the left side. Then, uh, wherever they're guided to, or they're maybe getting guided up to the top stairs, enemies are pouring in because they're already, like, imagine if you were, uh, taking a break in the guest chambers, the castle would be under attack, you told it to go to the top floor, you take the right, take the left, whatever you want to go to, uh, and the enemies are pouring in, there's fighting happening in here, you have to break open the doors, the doors are already broken open, enemies are pouring out, you can do all sorts of things with this. Tons of ideas, you got your own ideas, I'm assuming. So, I'll leave it there. So, thank you again for watching. Uh, if you could leave a... Eh, leave a like. Or leave a... Put a thumbs up, thumbs down. Do what you will. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm still deciding whether the next one will be the... Kings or the Magician Little Tower. I may just do another normal tower. And I may just decorate an entire map dedicated to having a multi-floor magician style tower. Uh, Necromancer Lair could have a good tower. Could have an evil tower. One that you'd want to kind of rescue somebody in. Potentially use it for the princess rescuing from dragon kind of situation. Dragon being outside. Shrek style. And... Or you could have it being an evil and a bunch of traps placing anywhere. That gives me that's some ideas. But again... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.